Top 5 is finally here and I'm quite excited about this device. I think it will become very popular in the maker community. For years the ESP32 S3 has been the microcontroller of the choice in many embed devices and development boards. Now we have even more powerful option ESP32 P4 and this is my first ESP32 P4 device. The main difference between S3 and P4 include a higher clock speed up to 240 megahertz on S3 and up to 400 megahertz on P4 as well more GPIOs, more RAM, more ROM memory, improved graphic acceleration and more. One thing that P4 doesn't have is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, however M5 stack also included ESP32C6 in this device, so it supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee and other protocols. The device is designed for makers and tinkers, it could be excellent choice as IoT terminal or a control terminal. It comes packed with ports, connectors and GPIOs. We will take a closer look later, but first I want to show you something. M5 Stack is running a global contest uh, for makers and if you have a great project, sign up for the competition, share your project with us and you'll have chance to win uh, great prizes. I won't be competing this time. Why? Because this year I'm one of the judges. And that's what I wanted to share with you. You can find more about the competition on M5 Stack website. Now let's take a closer look at the Tab 5. Tab 5 comes in two versions. One without battery and one with built-in battery like the one I have. The version with the battery cost $60 and one without cost $55. I al already talked to a few friends and everyone are surprised by the price. Honestly, I was ex expecting something over $100 for device like this. This is brand new device powered by ESP32P4 featuring a stunning and detailed 5 inch display with resolution on, uh, of uh, 1280 by 720 so HD resolution it also includes built-in camera real-time clock Accelerometer, gyroscope, speaker, two microphones, audio interface, um, connectors for external antennas, RS485 support. USB-A port that can be used for external keyboards, mouses or other devices. Large battery, SD card slot, many available GPIOs, and device came with this factory example and it is a really good example that demonstrates functionalities of device good job so you can switch here between external and internal antenna you can test SD card you can um, change brightness volume, put device to sleep, set real-time clock cheap, uh, you can uh, turn on or off quick charging you can 
scan i square c devices record audio uh, scan files on sd card test microphones there are two microphones built in what else uh, enable or disable output 5 volts here monitor battery play with camera test RS485 you can also control GPIOs Overall, very interesting sketch. Right now, it is not possible to program this device in Arduino IDE. We need to use ESP IDF for writing our own, our own firmware, but I already know that people are working on Arduino integration and in few days or weeks, we'll be able to program this in Arduino IDE. And I can wait to make something. That's it. In this video, I just wanted to show you this de new device and to inform you that era of P4 is coming and it will be interesting and fun. Finally, we have cheap microcontroller capable of running large screens and all peripherals in the same time. Thank you for your time. I hope it was fun video for you. If you watched the whole video, please write hockey pokey in the comments. Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye.